You are, this project is inspired by well, the book you're sharing with Yes, because right now, Ava and I are very much into the Lorax, which is all about sh teaching kids how to save the planet right there. These are the truffula trees from the Lorax. And so I really wanted to try to create something from that story to kind of surprise Ava with. And so I thought, well, why not turn just... Why not turn a tree into a lamp? That's right. <laughs> Why not? Because you can. Because I can. What materials do we need to do this in your land? So it made a rhyme from Dr. <laughs> That's right. I'm afraid to let you so, go. I know. <laughs> you hurt yourself. Okay. We need our wood round. Um, probably the larger, the, the better for the base of the tree, depending on how tall you want to make your tree. And your little four little knobs for underneath. And then your PVC pipe, some yellow spray paint, a Sharpie, and of course your... Feather boas, which I had fun finding and shopping for. I didn't know you can find a PV PVC pipe that's crooked. Well, Did we you just bend it yourself. Or they come yes. Like that? So, so Dave Lowe in our props department, he helped me figure out how to bend uh, PVC pipes. So I, I learned know. something I new. I he's really Superman. fun. I'm, he's Superman. Yes, I know. Right. Yeah, and right. I can show you how I did that, and I started earlier today. So here we have our wood round. And you want to drill a hole right in the center to put the PVC pipe stem of your lamp in. So I wanted to find the the largest width on on each of the sides, and then you just drill right in the center, just like you can see me doing there. And then take your wood glue and just glue on your four little knobs like that. I probably put on a little too much glue, but I really wanted them to stick. So set it aside and let it dry, just like that. Super easy. Now here I made a jig. So. Just right there, just like that. You just secure it like that. Now the main thing here is you had to put two screws in that are adjacent from each other so that you can create that bending effect. And then you get a heat gun. Painters use this actually to strip paint off yeah. of the wall, which is super It's cool. not a hair dryer. It's not so a hair dryer. Don't that. use a hair dryer. So I tried that, it didn't hair. work. Yeah. And then I had and to don't use that on your hair. <laughs> don't use that on your <laughs> hair. Not on your hair for sure. <laughs> but once you've bent it, just hold it in place and the cool air will cool it down. That's then how you do it. That's this is how we did it. That's and believe me, Dave and I had to troubleshoot a little bit to figure this out. So we got a piece of wire and we strung it all the way through the PVC pipe. And then check this out. We just tape, tape it. yes, the um, the lamp wire to the end of the wire wire and strung it through, and we pulled it through the other end. Voila! By the way, so can I get really... my hanger back that you borrowed? How did you know? I went into your I went into your dressing room. We took it. Well, took a my, few of them. A jack is on the floor. That's <laughs> how jack I know. was on the place. And then, jack is on the floor. <laughs> so here we have a lighting kit, which might seem a little confusing, but trust me, if I can do it, you can too. Just follow the instructions on the back of the uh, lighting kit lamp. Mm-hmm. And. They're really not difficult See, I, to put I look on. like I really know what I'm doing here. Yeah. And then you, you just hook so it all up right there, right? Well, I was. Yeah. I had to make sure I didn't mess up the two wires. But just want to show you, if you turn this over mm -hmm. just like that, just follow the instructions. So don't make it too complicated because everything, thanks, Mark, everything's pretty much laid out here for you, and yeah. it's really not that difficult. Mm -hmm. So once you hook it all up, just like I've done, then the next step is you want to take your spray paint, okay, and you want to spray paint the stem. All right, and then set that aside, let it dry. Then we're going to have the fun part. We're going to finish gluing the fur for this the truffula tree. This is fun for Ava, I bet, doing the. We had part. so much fun doing yeah. it. Oh, yeah, it's great. Um, so what we're going to do, maybe we can all get involved. So yeah. maybe, Mark, you turn. You turn. Okay. I'll glue. Okay. You glue. And then okay. you can just lay the, um, the little the feather boas on. So, so the first thing we have turning. to do is just cut off the end. Like See this, this little end here, you guys? You need me to turn? We're going to cut turn that me. off. I'm going okay. to put this on you. Okay. You could be the Laura. <laughs> Tree. And wherever Truffle you want to start. There's been a couple of New Year's. So let's you can be Mark and... Truffle. Show you guys here. Okay. We're gonna get it. Get it. No, we uh, got that. Okay. Boom, boom. Thank you. <laughs> the one I got it. Get it. Yeah, get so it. as we go around and be generous with the glue. Okay. Here you're gonna go. start there All right. and just keep going around. So you okay. turn. I glue. Okay. Here she goes. And then we wrap. And we can all we do wrap. it together super fast. We wrap. Here we are up super all the shade. Nobody knows is how it's made. Wait, I gotta Take it away, Christina Ferrari. And then you're gonna go for wowie wow. <laughs> and then you keep going all the way around. And you yes. Keep wrapping. Keep wrapping. Yeah. Now here's a little tip. When you get to the end, mm -hmm. um, you can also layer it a few times over to make it more round and fluffy. And fun. But when you get to the end, make sure that you actually put glue all the way around this part too, so that when you glue it on the bottom, there's no seam. Oh. So you just want to make sure that there's no seam. It was made seam. by Mark Stannis. <laughs> nice. oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I got a little carried away. Although, did Dr. Seuss okay. do too much rapping? I don't know. I did. And Tanya. Hang on. You got a little, you got a Dr. Yeah. Seuss thing left. That's okay. okay. All right.
All so right. here we have it finished. I made a little pink one for Ava's room. Super fun. And on it goes, what's the black? We're gonna put it on. Little black marks on the. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You know what? Maybe we'll finish off with that. Okay. Here, hold on. We're gonna take I'll hold sharpie. it. Yes. Hold it. So before we put the top on, you're right, because I saved this spot mm -hmm. to do that. Now, this is exactly the look of the Trophula Tree. If we pull up our photo mm -hmm. there, see the little yep. black zigzag? Mm -hmm. So don't think too much about it. You're just going like this. I'll just go all the way around. Just like that. There's it special have meaning to, be to the flies. It's just part of the decor, part of the design. There's no special. There's meaning no to that. special no. meaning. We okay. can make one. I don't remember my Lorax story. <laughs> and then you go all the way around, just like that. There you go. And you just do this from bottom to top, and you can scribble it as dark as you want to make it, and then finally. You put that on. I want to share this with everybody in Yay! the dark. Take a look how beautiful Yay! this is. Okay, wait. We're gonna. And there's Blowing. the night shot. Check out the night shot. Oh, that's so! What a great idea, Tim. You want to there support? it is. You know, I just, and I just love this. I love the story. I love the message behind it, and it's such know, a wonderful addition. It also to encourages kids to get involved with reading and taking the book and bringing it to life. It really Can does. Can you imagine you know reading what? Dr. Seuss books yeah. under that lamp? Yeah. You know what? And it's pink. So what do you think? <laughs> How much? How much? <laughs> Cost? Well, I've seen them for about three hundred dollars on the internet, and um, we made this for about fifty bucks.